Hello everybody, my name is Pavel Kovac. I work for SOS Electronic. The company is an international distributor of electronic components, mainly for electronic industry. Our company is a part of Conrad Electronic since 2013. I would like to dedicate today's events to communication IoT modules. I have invited our reliable long-term partner, Hugtel Company. It's represented by Mr. Radu Igret. Hugtel Company is the worldwide biggest supplier of communication modules and we at SOS Electronic work with Kubetel since 2012. Uh, today we picked for you GNSS modules. Uh, Radu will show you complete portfolio of Kubetel GNSS modules and I will show you L86 module in practice. This is our uh, mo GNSS modules roadmap. We have uh, different types of modules, like uh, from GPS only to single band uh, GNSS. GNSS means it supports more constellations like uh, GPS, GLONASS, Baidu, and others. Multiband, which uh, uh, support uh, more frequencies. We have also automotive grade and uh, modules with integrated antennas. I will start with the first one, just uh, have uh, some overview. So uh, uh, those are based on a MediaTek chipset called MT3337. Uh, difference between them is that, uh, for example, the middle one is read-only, so it uh, has a read-only memory. This means it's cheaper. And uh, the right one has also uh, integrated LNA. So consumption is higher. Uh, next one, uh, based on other MediaTek chipset, MT3333. This supports also GLONASS and uh, um, other constellations, Galileo. Um, consumption is a bit higher than uh, previous because it supports more constellations. Again, we have uh, versions with uh, LNA or uh, even L26 uh, module, which it's same chipset, but form factor is compatible with other competitor modules. This is a very common uh, footprint and uh, our module can replace existing design from competitors. Okay, now based on new chipset from uh, MediaTek, uh, actually now they was, were acquired by AeroA. This is why this chipset is called AG331. So all these uh, modules are based on the ch same chipset. The uh, difference is that uh, uh, in the form factor, for example, and uh, integrated LNA or not. Uh, other uh, newer modules based on a chipset called TCL3. Uh, those also support multiple constellations, have integrated LNA, and uh, the form factor is uh, being compatible with uh, competitor uh, modules. We also have uh, variants with integrated antenna. So uh, L80, for example, has simple GPS antenna. L86 has uh, antenna that supports also GNSS. And uh, antenna is bigger, but if you look closely, pinout is the same. So footprint of the PCB is uh, is the same, so you can easily replace them uh, in the same uh, design. Okay, uh, again, LATRR is the read-only version, so cheaper version, and uh, the newest from this uh, batch is L96, which has integrated uh, chip antenna, and you can also connect external antenna if needed. Okay, um, L80, LC86L, it's the same uh, principle, but based on a new chipset from Aeroha, AG331. So supposed to be cheaper, I think. For dual band uh, modules, 
we have uh, this uh, variant, LC79D, based on Broadcom chipset, and uh, LC29D. It also uh, supports uh, dead reckoning and RTK. And on the bottom side, we have two modules for the uh, Indian market, for the that support the Indian uh, constellation, uh, based on TCO3. Uh, and the uh, AG35. Right. So difference dif difference between them is just the internal chipset. Is why you can see R20 uh, or nothing. And the latest is LG69 t This one uh, is based on uh, chipset from ST called TC05, which is a uh, dual band. It supports uh, GPS L1, L5, Galileo. Uh, uh, Indian constellation Baidu, and uh, also uh, has this one has more flavors. Let's say, let me better explain them in uh, this uh, graphic. So uh, LG six ninety uh, has uh, capability to output raw data, uh, an optional uh, dead reckoning. So. Uh, you can uh, process the raw data externally with an external controller. Uh, LG690 is uh, a version AP, uh, integrates deck reckoning and RTK. And uh, the last one, all of them are automotive grade, but this one is uh, ACLB compliant. ACL means the automotive uh, security in, uh, interface layer, uh, a security integra integrated layer uh, level B, for example, is similar to uh, to headlights, to uh, automatic uh, constant constant speed uh, unit. So the automatic uh, uh, lane assistance to this kind of. Uh, of devices, not critical, but uh, much more uh, uh, higher security level than uh, radio, for example. This also has a Genesis uh, raw data output and dual band, of course. Those are the Genesis, so the navigation systems that are supported by the module. So GPS with 31 satellites, Baidu, Chinese uh, constellation, GLONASS, Russian satellites, uh, 23, uh, Galileo, and the uh, latest is NAVIC, the Indian uh, navigation system. Most, all of our modules support uh, assisted GNSS, so they can uh, uh, speed up the time to fix, time to first fix, by using uh, data uh, that modules, third-party modules or several modules can uh, get from internet. So in this case, uh, time to first fix, can be reduced below 15 seconds compared to normal case, which is uh, below uh, 35 seconds for core start. And from warm start, uh, it's below five seconds. Positioning the modules uh, in the technology trends would look like this. So uh, with two, two to five uh, accuracy is standard GPS. Uh, same accuracy for GNSS, but better uh, uh, performance in urban canyons. For lower uh, precision, like one to two meters, we have uh, L26DR, L79D, uh, which supports multiband and dead reckoning. And for even lower precision, we have uh, LG69 t which supports a centimeter uh, level. Also have a uh, L26P, but this is only used for Chinese market for now. What means that reckoning is uh, that uh, you don't need GPS signal. So uh, the module has integrated the uh, inertial sensor that uh, can uh, measure acceleration and forces and then uh, reconstruct the tra trajectory when the GPS signal is uh, gone. So device can, for example, work in underground, in tunnels, underground parkings, stuff like this. Uh, real RTK, real-time uh, kinematic, uh, means that position of the uh, device is corrected 
through a ground based station. And thus, we can achieve uh, centimeter level accuracies. Some types of applications with the modules. So, external application uh, can uh, provide high precision positioning using correction data from external servers, and also data from uh, car speed, like wheel speed and direction, uh, as long, along with uh, raw data from the module. And the module itself also can provide uh, this, uh, correct, this type of data. If correction data is, is injected into the module, also uh, the information from the sensor from the vehicle, direction and car speed. The benefits of uh, dual bands, of multiple bands, uh, you can see here, uh, especially has a good effect in multipath rejection. Multipath is the worst uh, influence that can uh, be translated in uh, in uh, erroneous uh, distance measurements, report distance me uh, position errors reported by the module. It's uh, better tracking in weak signal conditions, or a better accuracy sub uh, below one meter in open sky, and more autonomous on call start, faster on call start, and. Uh, has reduced signal in cross correlation. Some typical applications for uh, our modules are a wide range of industries from personal and pet trackers, wearable devices to uh, very common vehicle trackers, and now ADAS and self driving vehicles with the newest modules that support uh, uh, dead reckoning and uh, centimeter level accuracy and RTK and get. Uh, input data from the car to uh, improve precision for shared bike and uh, also for architect architecture. Okay, this is uh, the introduction part of the modules. Now we will uh, show you the uh, a live demo with L86. Okay, thank you, Radu. So now uh, I will show you the L86 module in practice. Uh, I uh, installed a small test program on my computer so you will see how many satellites we can get uh, in view and uh, how the position is uh, acquired from the module and what is the precision of the module itself. So the software name is uh, Visual GPS View and uh, this piece of software can show uh, GPS in blue and uh, GNSS uh, GLONASS uh, satellites in red color. So currently we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine GPS satellites in view and uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, here's the exact position of our module. Uh, altitude and deviation of position. As you can see, it's very accurate. Uh, the deviation is only 1.1 uh, meter. Horizontal deviation is 0 0.7 and vertical deviation of position it's uh, 0 0.9. Uh, currently we can see 17 satellites uh, tracked and total number of uh, satellites in view are 21. Here is a small map of uh, the position of the satellites over uh, our building in the sky and with this small tool we can see also the NMEA monitor which is uh, uh, the raw data from, from the module so you can see we get this position and time and uh, speed uh, data every 
500 milliseconds from the module. The communication speed is uh, 9600 uh, volts and uh, among this information we also can see, I can show you with my serial monitor. So with the tools I set the COM port, the baud rate, the data bits, stop bits and now you can see all the information coming from the module and I would like to show you this special information which is an antenna status uh, uh, which means uh, we have connected the external antenna we are not using the onboard antenna of the mo module because we are located inside the building so uh, with um, internal antenna we can see only three to four satellites but if we connect the external antenna to our module we can see up to 21 satellites as you uh, have seen a few minutes ago so this is a practical um, presentation of the module capabilities and uh, all these modules can be uh, used in uh, different applications such uh, bike sharing or car sharing or uh, goods tracking and so on so this is what I would like to show you today okay so uh, I would like to thank you for today's presentation Radu and uh, I would like to thank you to the audience also and uh, please contact our company if you have any questions, if you have requirements for GPS modules we are ready to answer your questions we are ready to help you with your uh, development and uh, uh, we uh, expect you will be our customer in the future.